Okay, I wanted to show my most recent project that I put together, and uh, here it is. Uh, basically, what it is is it's the control pan. It's the it's the motor control board from a treadmill that I found on the side of the road. And what I did was I took that control board and I threw it into an ATX power supply uh, case. Um, it was a power supply from an old PC that uh, that stopped working, so. I, I junked the power supply from the computer and replaced it with the power supply from a treadmill. Um, now this treadmill that I got this from, it was a DC motor treadmill um, and it came with this variable uh, speed potentiometer. Uh, basically it vary, varies the, the DC voltage out of, out of the, the power supply here. So um, it has a an adjustable potentiometer in there labeled maximum speed and I've got that set to the maximum and uh, that that gets me when this is set all the way to the highest that gets the output all the way up to 160 volts DC which is pretty high for um, a bench power supply like this for me to be able to use on uh, whatever I need to, to power up which is great so what I'm gonna do now is uh, Oh, I'll show you a couple of other things too. I put, uh, I installed this. It's a couple of diodes um, that I put in line with uh, one of the binding posts, just so that uh, if I did hook up something up to these, uh, and for whatever reason, it the thing that I hooked up to it tried to feed voltage back into the power supply, um, it would block that from from going in. Uh, just to protect the power supply. Um, maybe somebody can answer this for me. Uh, is that only, like, it, does it work to only have that on one of the binding posts? Or do I need to have the diodes on, on both of them to, to have 100% protection on that? Um, or is it good enough just to have it on, on the one? Um, another thing I installed is just a power switch so that uh, I don't have to unplug the thing every time I want to turn it off. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to hook it up to this motor here and you can see um, what kind of output this uh, this thing has. Alright, and check it out. Pretty good, eh? Just kidding. That's got some power. I'll see if I can get a speed reading on it. I don't know if you saw that, but it was up around like 7,000 RPM or something like that. It's pretty damn fast. It's hard to do with one hand, but uh, when I was doing it before, when I had with the camera, it was getting up to like 7,000, I think. Yeah, so uh, just some details on this motor too. I found it in a dumpster. It's a, it's a pancake servo motor. It's DC. Uh, the rated voltage on it is, uh, I'm not quite sure because this didn't have a nameplate when I found it, but uh, it's either 83 volts DC or 167 volts DC, something like that. turn this off um, so you can see in there the rotor is a disc it's a flat disc and uh, these are the permanent magnets sandwiched so the the disc in there is sandwiched between um, two layers of, uh, of permanent magnets so there's a, a layer of permanent magnets on this side and a layer on this side and then the the rotor disc in the middle of there and uh, the disc is just like a printed circuit board kind of thing with a instead of having windings of wire the windings are printed on the circuit board uh, in a flat disc 
and uh, it's a brushed DC motor so there's actually um, commutator brushes in there that uh, rub up against the uh, the plate it's an older style motor so that's why it's a brush design I think but if it was newer it probably would be some sort of brushless but anyways brand new motor like this was around like four thousand dollars three thousand dollars something ridiculous like that uh, for me it was free so yeah I can do whatever I want with it okay so yeah let me know what you guys think of this uh, power supply of mine it's another one that I can just add to my collection of bench power su supplies bench top power supplies that I have for testing things like this uh, I'll show you quickly here's a couple of my other ones if you don't have one of these guys yet a power supply with one of these go ahead and make yourself one because they are absolutely great um, this is not a pyramid power supply this is a uh, just a, another box that I used I salvaged I used this uh, you can buy one of these uh, it's a display for and controller for uh, um, benchtop power supplies um, you have to provide your own transformer or whatnot binding posts and, and that but for like 35 bucks uh, if you have a transformer laying around in a project box, go ahead and make yourself a benchtop power supply. This one goes up to like 35 volts DC. It's great. <laughs>